All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick video. All right, y'all, so I know most of y'all have already seen this, but it's going down December 9th. UFC is making its return back to China, making their return back to Shanghai, China. UFC Fight Night 233 is a go. But it looks like neither Wei Li or Yan are making their return on this card in China. So, yeah, looks like the card is all, all put together now. All the fights have been fleshed out, so... You know, no, no wishful thinking or hopeful thinking here that they're going to squeeze in one of Wei Li or Yan in here to take on a fight. Whether Yan's taking on Wei Li or somebody else, it doesn't look like they're going to make that happen now because it looks like they already got all 12 fights scheduled. And actually, no women fighting on this card either, you know? So that's crazy. They had their opportunity, I think, to bring in some female talent, you know, as well as, like I said, the, the champion and top contender. But they kind of dropped the ball on this one. So it's going down. You got um, Yadong Song versus Chris Gutierrez as the main event. Um, and the co-main event is Andre Munez versus Jung Young Park. And from there, you know, they're putting a lot of Asian fighters on this card, which is good, which is good. But in my opinion, I think this is a little disappointing. I, I felt like this was a chance for the UFC to capitalize, you know, to put their top marketing fighter on a card, right? Either... It, Make it a pay-per-view or just make it a UFC fight night could have been a main event. It would have been, been a big event for uh, China, right? So I guess, you know, my question is, what do y'all think? Do you think the UFC dropped the ball on this one, you know, by not making Wei Li versus Yan or just not having Yan fight on this card, period? You know, if Wei Li didn't want to make a return, could they at least put Yan John on against a top-level opponent and make this a title eliminator? A title eliminator? Of course, you know, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on this one, man, because a little while back, after Yan Zhanan knocked out Jessica Andrade in one round, you know, that was like what, back in May, um, Dana had approached her, like she said, and said that, you know, title shot is in the making for it, right? It seems like he wanted to make a title shot. And he said something about it happening in China, right? So he kind of got her hopes up and got our hopes up and said, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because... Yan Zhanan fought in May, and by December 9th, that would be a good six, seven months for her to return fully prepared, right? That means she took the right amount of time to get a full training camp and um, prepare for a champion like Wei Li. And then on top of that, be going back home to China. You know, so you know she would be like mentally ready for it and fully ready to go, right? To rise to the occasion. You know, so I thought that would have been, you know, a great opportunity for the UFC and Yan Jana with that. Um, as y'all know, Wei Li didn't make her return for another, what, three, four months when she fought Amanda Lamos. But I think Wei Li would have been able to ideally make that fight happen as well, you know, because she had just fought, what, after go, after going into December, that would be about um, three to four months, you know, and these fighters, they like to stay active. They like to stay active. So I thought Wei Li coming off a dominant performance where she didn't have barely a scratch on her, she wouldn't mind taking on a fight like Yan Jana. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a lot of pressure for her. Who knows? You know, and on top of that, she didn't really want to fight Yan Jana because she didn't really want to do the China versus China thing. Maybe that was her, um, maybe that was her outlook on it to just say, I'll pass on this one because I don't want to do China versus China. It's got to be somebody else. Um, so with that, you know, that's kind of disappointing, but I think it could have happened. You know, if Dana would have said, Hey, let's make this fight happen. You get paid and, you know, you bring it in a big crowd. Everybody would have wanted that fight. You know, I think that would have fight. That would have been the fight to make sense on this card. You know, UFC fight night 233, um, with them as a main event, that would have been big. You know, that would have been big over there. Um, but now that it's not, it just makes you say, yeah, I feel like they just they just missed out on an opportunity. Now, like I said, if Wei Lee didn't want the fight, they still could have made this kind of a homecoming for Yan Zhaonan to kind of build up her brand and her market back in China, you know, since they see her as the villain, right? Or she could go in and build up that heel character a little bit more. Like, say if they gave her a fight against Amanda Lemos or Tatiana Suarez, you know, and say she wins, she could go over there, you know, beat him and then say something like, hey, you know, I'm ready for Wei Li. I know y'all like Wei Li, but I'm about to take that belt, right? She could have built up the heel character a little bit more. And then um, the ticket sales would really be flowing in for the, you know, potential fight 
uh, between Whaley and Yon. But now it just kind of, it doesn't really sit flat because people are still watching, but now it's just kind of like dead air right now. Like what's going on? You know, Whaley, I know she just beat Lamos, but before that she had a long period off between the Carla fight and Lamos fight, right? So I feel like she would want to make a return real quick in the year off with another fight. Because I remember they said they wanted to fight, what, two times a year? They wanted to fight two times in 2023, but they wound up pretty much just fighting what one, right? Because she beat Carla last year, right? And um, yeah, yeah, Lamos. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and for Jan Janon, fighting in May and then maybe maybe not coming back till next May. It's like she got a full year off. I mean, I hope she's been preparing and, you know, she's not going to, you know, be rusty. That's what I'm saying. Like, these fighters, they have to stay active. Like, we know the UFC has active fighters, right? But sometimes it seems like some of the fighters, they get shelved for a little bit and they don't know what to do with them or they don't know what they're going to do next. Like, oh, we're going to make a title eliminator. We're going to give this person a title shot. What's next? What's next? Is it Suarez or Jan Jana, right? We don't know. But um, I think in this situation, man, it would have been perfect. Um, if Whaley's out the picture, make Suarez, Jan Jana, you know, go ahead and make that fight because Suarez, I feel like after beating Andrade, I would want to see her in one more fight, let it be a title eliminator. But Jan Jana has done scored two wins in a row with Dern and Andrade, you know, fighting Suarez. And if she could beat her, that would be guaranteed title shot material for me, you know. So if they couldn't have done Whaley, Yan versus Suarez would have been ideal over there, you know, or even Yan versus Lamo, something like that, just to just to build these fighters up, man, and and get get them active and get them known. You know, that's why a lot of these WMA fighters aren't really that popular like that. You know, you 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 had two hot fighters here, but you don't put either either of them on this card. You know, it's just all men. I mean, no, 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 no against the men, of course, right? But you you have enough women in here and there's enough Chinese talent out there that I think you could sign them, get them on this card and get them, ex get them some exposure, build their stock up, especially with Yan Jana, you know, being right there near the top now, go ahead and build her stock up to make this Wei Li Yan fight big. Right. So that's how I see it, guys. I think it was kind of a missed opportunity. Big disappointment would have been nice to close out the year seeing Wei Li Yan return or if not, like I said, Jan John, I'd make a return against either Suarez, Lamos, or something like that. You know, that would have been a good fight. But what do y'all think, guys? This is the card right here. If y'all want to pull it up later, UFC Fight Night 233, Yadong Song versus Chris Gutierrez. What do y'all think, guys? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.